Hey, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Does your IS-300 sound like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz getting a blowjob from a fat chick with braces? Well, good. Well, not good, but if it does, you've come to the right video, because I have a solution. Um, apparently, it's a common issue with IS-300s. I don't know if it's an aftermarket rotor problem, or if it's the factory backing plate problem, or what, but apparently the rotor, um, the drum part of the rotor grinds on the backing plate and scrapes. And I don't know why, but it's a common issue, and today I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's pretty easy. You just need uh, either a grinder, a Dremel, or a file, and that's it. So, stay tuned. Now the first thing I'm going to do is obviously take the wheel off, and then take off the brake caliper. This is a 17 millimeter wrench or socket. Alright, then you can rest your caliper off of the side or secure it somewhere. I like to just put it there. And you want to make sure that the parking brake is off and the car is in neutral. And then you can try to turn here and you can hear where it rubs. So we're going to try to find out where it's rubbing and take that material off to make it shut the fuck up. Okay, so you can see where it's actually grinding. This groove right here is where it's been grinding on the backing plate for the shoes. This groove all the way around. Now I guess eventually, if you left this on long enough, it will go away because it will eventually grind down long enough, but the noise is fucking annoying and it's embarrassing. So we're gonna take our grinder and take a lot of material off that shield to make this fucking stop. Okay, so right here on the bottom of this ring, you can see how it's shiny. The metal is shiny right here, and then it stops up here, and it's not shiny anywhere else. So this is the part that's grinding on the rotor. So we're going to take our grinder and grind some of this material off, and hopefully it stops it. You can see, it's only shiny there, but then the rest of it is okay. So we're not having contact anywhere else other than down here. So I'm going to take my grinder to it and cut the shit out of it because it's been annoying me for a long time and it's about time this madness has stopped. Ah, that one went in my ear. Ah. Shit. I wish it was winter so I could be wearing a beanie or something. That one went in my ear. Ah. Is Tony here? I think, I think Tony's here. But here's the motherfucker that I cut off. So I managed to cut off this nice chunk of metal, which should eliminate the problem. But I'm just gonna hit this entire ring with the grinder just a little bit, just to make sure this noise does not fucking come back. Because it's annoying. And embarrassing so I'm not gonna go crazy I'm just gonna hit it real quick with this all right now we can put the rotor back on and hopefully this noise doesn't fucking come back again now I'm gonna spin this wheel you can hear a little bit of noise it's probably just the brake shoes but you can hear there is a significant difference between how loud that wheel is that we haven't touched and this wheel So almost nothing from this wheel, a lot from that wheel. Still some noise from this one, but it's a lot quieter. I think I can live with this. This one doesn't sound like the fucking Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz getting a blowjob from a fat chip with braces. Damn, savage as fuck. Yep, savage as fuck.
Okay, now upon inspection, this side has the same exact thing going on. There's wear marks just on the bottom right here. So, I'm gonna take my grinder, cut that shit out, and end this bullshit. Now there's still a little bit of noise from the brake shoes, but this is so much better. If you know the noise, if you have this noise, you know that this is virtually silent compared to what it normally is. I'm gonna feel a lot better driving this. I'm not gonna be as embarrassed driving it. So fucking annoying. So, yeah, that's how you fix it. All right, there you go. That's how you fix the annoying ass brake noise with the IS300. I hate drum brakes. That's why I put the hydraulic handbrake in the Supra, deleted that shit, made it so much simpler. Didn't have to deal with this, but this is my daily and I'm going for the VIP look, so I didn't convert to hydro, but now I fixed the problem. I am so, so glad I fixed it. I've, it's, I've been waiting way too long to do this. Um, I did use a cutting blade on my angle grinder to do it. You don't have to use an angle grinder. You could use a file, you could use a Dremel, um, really anything to remove material, but probably a cutoff wheel like I use is probably the quickest. Um, but make sure you don't get any uh, stuff in your ear, because it might hurt. Um, a file might take a really long time, but what I just did works for me. And uh, hopefully if you're having this problem, this video helps you out. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.